आल्स एजुकेशनल कंटेंट के लिए मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें एंड बेल लाइकन दोबारा ना भूलें ताकि आपको रेगुलर अपडेट्स मिलते रहें हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ पवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आल्स क्रक्स आई होप योर आल्स प्रिपरेशन इज़ गोइंग गुड वाइल सिटिंग एट होम एज यू कैन क्रैक योर आल्स एग्जाम बाई प्रिपेयरिंग एट होम ओनली सो स्टे होम एंड स्टडी विद मी so in today's video i will tell you the secret for scoring 9 band in als reading module whether it is journal or academic so students video ko end tak zarur dekhe as answers of all questions in reading test is dependent on one element that i have explained in detail in this video with examples and if you will find this video helpful do like and share the video and tell me in comment section if you want me to prepare any all specific topic and if you have any all related query contact me on my email id all scrubs 877 at the rate gmail.com so let's start so students you know what is all reading test about all reading is not really a reading test it is a test of students vocabulary to be precise it is a test of students synonyms knowledge and ability of paraphrasing you know some students find als reading the most difficult module but in reality it is not because the whole reading test revolves around synonyms and paraphrasing and if students master the skill of paraphrasing using synonyms one can easily score band 9 in reading test but why synonyms and paraphrasing are important in reading to answer this we need to understand how the als reading test is made मीन्स जो एग्जाम सेटर्स हैं वो रीडिंग टेस्ट के क्वेश्चन को कैसे सेट करते हैं एग्जाम आल्स एग्जाम सेटर्स टेक अ पीस ऑफ राइटिंग रीड्स दैम एंड सेट क्वेश्चन रिलेटिंग टू अ लाइन और अ पैराग्राफ विच इंटरेस्ट दैम बट इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग द सेम लाइन इन द क्वेश्चन दे पैराफ्रेज द लाइन यूजिंग सिनेम्स वाइल सेटिंग द क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस वे फिलअप स्मैच द हेडिंग ट्रू फॉल्स नॉट गिवन एम सिक्यूज आर बींग सेट इन रीडिंग टेस्ट सो इन द एंड all the 40 questions of the reading test have same meaning as that of a passage but they are written in a different way so i will explain it with an example like uh, this is a one paragraph of a passage and in a second line it is written do not enter restricted areas without authorization and at all times observe the warnings given so for this line examiner could set fill up rephrasing it using synonyms like instead of uh, do not enter restricted areas he would use certain places should avoid and uh, instead of without he would use unless and will set the fill up question like this there are certain places in the building that staff should avoid unless they have blank blank mein aayega authorization so lines have same meaning but written in different ways using synonyms and in the same way headings and matching question and questions in mcqs and true false not given are being framed in the reading test using synonyms so to explain it further let's take an example like uh, one side the uh, words hain jo question mein use kiye gaye hain and one side wo words hain jo passage mein uski jagah use kiye gaye hain लाइक क्वेश्चन में पोटेंशियल लीडर्स यूज़ किया गया है और पैसेज में उसकी जगह लिखा गया है एम्प्लॉयज हु कैन लीड सिमिलरली प्राइमरी एजुकेशन की जगह एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन यूज़ कर सकते हैं लाइफ स्टाइल की जगह वे ऑफ लाइफ यूज़ किया गया है इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ की जगह डेवलपमेंट ऑफ न्यू इंडस्ट्रियल सिटीज यूज़ किया जा सकता है एंड एज मच एज पॉसिबल यूज़ किया है क्वेश्चन में तो पैसेज में होगा एम्पल so guys this is the reason whole reading test is dependent on ability of paraphrasing using synonyms so students if they are setting questions using synonyms and paraphrasing then you can give 100% correct answer if you will find answer using same technique so technique of solving is keyword synonym technique so its steps are identify keywords then keep the possible synonyms of those keywords in mind then use these keyword synonyms for finding answers through skimming and scanning so i will explain it with the help of fill up example like fill up question is items which could cause injury must be then blank before they are disposed of so first step of keyword synonym technique is find keyword in the fill up so keywords in this fill up could be items causing injury and the second is dispose of 
सो स्टेप टू इज थिंक अबाउट देयर पॉसिबल सिनेम्स सिनेम्स क्या हो सकते हैं इन की वर्ड्स के सो आइटम कॉजिंग इंजरी का सिनेम हो सकता है मीन्स इसकी जगह नेम लिखे हो सकते हैं उन आइटम्स के जो आपको जो भी इंजरी कॉज कर सकती है देन डिस्पोज ऑफ को होता है थ्रो करना तो थ्रो लिखा हो सकता है सो थर्ड स्टेप इज लुक फॉर दीज की वर्ड्स एन एनिम्स इन द पैराग्राफ सो पैराग्राफ में ढूंढेंगे ये क्या की वर्ड्स एन एनिम्स हैं कहीं सो दिस इज द पैराग्राफ एंड इन द थर्ड लाइन यू कैन सी नेवर पुट शार्प ऑब्जेक्ट्स सच एज रेज ब्लेड्स और ब्रोकन ग्लास इन टू द वेस्ट बेंस विदाउट हैविंग रैप द आइटम्स केयरफुली टू प्रोटेक्ट दोज एम्पटिंग द बेंस so in this line we got our keywords in names like uh, names given has sharp objects ke like uh, razor blades and also dispose of ki jagah use kiya gaya hai put in the waste bins so answer is in this line that is wrapped means items ko dustbin mein throw karne se pehle wrap karna hai items which could cause injury must be wrapped before they are disposed of so the same technique works in multiple choice questions and mcqs So let's take an example. This is an example of MCQ. What was the main purpose of international expedition? And the four possible choices are given, out of which you have to find out correct answer. So step one is read the question and identify the keyword of a question. So the keyword could be main purpose and international expedition. So step two is think about its possible synonyms. So main purpose could be written in the passage as objective, aim. and uh, also the international expedition is a noun so then find out the part of the passage where uh, it is talking about you know, where the information about this international expedition is given so this is the long passage and after reading it we got to know that paragraph b is related to international expedition so step 3 is read this paragraph identified and find the keyword synonym in it you can see in the sixth line of the paragraph it is written primary aim means the primary aim of two and a half month expedition was to collect eggs then eggs would be hatched in captivity later on chicks would be flown to wwt in order to establish a small self sustaining population there so answer is here ki aim kya hai so look for this line in the options given options are first option is to and sandpiper eggs to an international frozen egg bank no second is to maintain small group of sand piper for future generation yes it could be so we will mark this so third to make an audio visual record of russian sand piper colony no fourth is to protect a colony of wild sand piper through a breeding session no so in second option in this option which we have marked paraphrasing is done so answer is to maintain a small group of sand piper for future generation as in the passage it is written ki primary aim hai ki future mein self sustaining population ko establish kar sake so in this way synonyms and paraphrasing helps in cracking your answer in mcqs so next is keyword synonym technique in finding answer in match the heading question so steps are identify keywords in the paragraph for which heading is to be found then think about its possible synonyms then look for these keyword synonyms in the list of headings given for finding correct answer so i have explained all these steps in detail with example in my other video named how to solve match the heading question with proper examples so this is how your band score in reading test mainly depends on synonyms and paraphrasing also synonym plays a vital role in other ielts module in a similar way for example in listening you might hear in conversation number of people who live there but in question it would be mentioned as population in speaking and writing also synonyms play vital role for example if you are asked about uh, museums to speak or write then students could not repeat the word museum as it could lead to deduction of marks instead of museum its synonyms like repository art gallery exhibition etc have to be used to score good bands but the problem lies there are lots of synonyms and it is very difficult to memorize enormous range of synonyms also reading test is always different so our questions and passages and it is difficult to find fixed set of synonyms that could be memorized so in that case hum vocabulary kaise improve kare 
I will give you some tips. First tip is solve as many reading tests as you can. By doing this, your skill of paraphrasing and finding synonyms would be polished. Practice this skill that whether you are able to find keyword synonyms or not. And whenever you find any word whose meaning or synonym is unknown to you, then wrong answer देने की बजाय अब अपना मोबाइल अपने पास रखें while solving reading test and look for that synonym in your cell phone and then answer it. By doing so, you will add new words to your list of vocabulary and also write these words in separate notebook for your future reference. Next step is read novels, magazines related to the topic that interests you. लाइक like, अगर आपको कॉमेडी में इंटरेस्ट है देन रीड कॉमेडी नॉवल्स ताकि आप बोर ना हो प्रैक्टिस करते वक्त ऑल्सो वॉच हिंदी और इंग्लिश मूवीज विद इंग्लिश सब टाइटल्स एंड डोंट मिस रीडिंग सब टाइटल्स वाई वॉचिंग मूवीज एंड वेन एवर आपको कोई डिफरेंट वर्ड मिलता है वाई रीडिंग लुक फॉर इट सिन एंड टेक नोट्स ऑफ इट इन योर नोटबुक सो नोट मेकिंग विल हेल्प यू टू क्रिएट वेल्यूएबल सेट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड जब आपका फाइनल एग्जाम होगा दैन आप उसको रिवाइज कर सकते हो बाई जस्ट ओपनिंग योर नोटबुक रेदर देन प्रेशराइजिंग योर माइंड विद द एंडलेस वोकेबुलरी लाइक इन नोटबुक यू कैन राइट अ वर्ड दैन इट्स मीनिंग दैन इट्स इन एम्स एंड ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल दैट विल शो द यूसेज ऑफ दैट वर्ड राइट इफ यू विल डू लाइक दिस एवरी डे यू विल हैव इम्प्रूवड योर वोकेबुलरी सिग्निफिकेंटली So guys I hope you got to know the role of synonyms and paraphrasing in IELTS reading and by mastering this skill you will easily be able to score good bands in reading test so practice this skill as much as you can so all the best for your practice and stay tuned with my channel for more updates thank you and bye